very excited about seeing Cali. I just love to come to CEW events. CEW has a terrifically important role. I mean, as a networking organisation, as an educational um, force in the field, um, and also it's philanthropic work, raising money for charity. It does um, a remarkable amount. Tonight, our guest is one of the world's most successful female music artists with a very special interest in fragrance and beauty. She's a dazzling cosmetic executive woman and I'll give her an honorary membership. Can I welcome Miss Kylie Minogue to the stage? seem to be as prolific with fragrances as you have been with your albums. I mean, this latest one is your ninth. How did that actually come about? It's, it's almost a shock for me to say this is the ninth fragrance. Mm. It's the fourth in the, in the, the Darling range. Um, it's a welcome comeback to the, the first bottle. Um, I'm really fond of that. Um, how do I keep doing it? I don't know. Koji kind enough to keep offering me <laughs> another one. And, and I love the ideas they, they come with mm -hmm. and they really do their research and... Um, uh, I mean, a Dazzling Darling sounds like it's quite obvious whose fragrance <laughs> that would be. <laughs> Am I right in thinking you've kind of visited the factory where the, where the stuff uh, is yeah, made? Yeah, I did. Is that right? You had, I believe there was a hairnet involved. Was uh, that, I, that, I escaped that right? the hairnet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, I did escape the hairnet did, and I right. just flounced around in a ruched pink Dolce Gabbana mini dress, <laughs> as you do in the factory. Right. Are there any, any designers um, that you're particularly loving right now? David Comer is mm -hmm. kind of up on that list. Right. Maria Schwab. Mm -hmm. um, guys who I got to know when they were just starting and now they're, they're doing quite well. Mm -hmm. Along with the, you know, Staples, Dolce Gabbana. Yes, we'll, yeah, we'll you've got a, a long-established friendship yeah, exactly. with them, haven't you? Confidence and body image are two huge issues for young girls and women mm -hmm. as they kind of grow up. And I, I don't know whether you agree, but I think there's a point at some point in your life where you become comfortable in your own skin and you kind of really become happy with who you are. Mm. Is, was there a point for you where you felt <laughs> where like Where is that? it? Oh, <laughs> <I was laughs> <around there. laughs> we can't believe that. We don't believe that. I think some days it's there. Some days you yeah. go, I'm cool with everything. This is great. Mm -hmm. And then for, you know, whatever reason... Um, you just have good days and bad yeah. days. Looking back at your 18-year-old self, is there, is there anything you wish you'd known or would love to have been able to tell yourself? I think that I would say to, to trust yourself. Because instinct is, is something we're all given. Mm -hmm. We all have it and so often we don't trust it and you kind of listen to others or go against your, your feelings. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that's probably what I'd say mm -hmm. to myself. I was watching some footage of you about to go on stage and you just looked so happy and excited. I mean, I was like, oh my God, I'd be absolutely, you know, Ugh. I mean, what goes I through your mind nervous. at that you do? Yeah. Does, what, is there something that goes through your mind at that point? If I'm feeling good, mm -hmm. I, 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 I am much more excited than nervous. If I'm not feeling great, like you might have a bit of a cold or something or other that's just not what you want when you've got to sing mm -hmm. your way through two hour plus show. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I get nervous about that, but uh, no, it's, it's much more excitement. And even if you're feeling down, as soon as you kind of, you're getting close to that invisible, this kind of, z this zone that you step through and then you're on stage and you just have to deal with it. And in a way that's kind of easier. Like I realized this a, a few years ago that I would spend all day worrying about the show, and it turned out that the easiest part of the day was, in a way, was doing the show because you don't have time to sit and worry about all the possibilities of your particular concern. You just deal with it in a second. You don't, you know, you think about it in a split second. <coughs> so in a way, mm -hmm. no one can bother you up there. You just get on with it. Whatever's going to happen is going to happen, and you deal with it. Is there anything special you're hoping that Santa might be bringing you this year? <laughs> oh, <thank> you. <laughs> What's on your wish list? <laughs> Um, uh, probably the same as every year, just a bit more time with my family. Right. Um, you know, it's typical I'm going to Australia tomorrow, but there's bits of work and then you've kind of got to rush around and try and see everyone in three days and it's, uh, it's never as satisfying as I mm -hmm. hope it would be. So maybe next year I can go back to Australia for a little bit longer.
absolutely fabulous. I mean, she's someone that I know and have grown up with, essentially. So I think, you know, to have her at the CW event tonight is, you know, a true inspiration. We've kind of taken her to our heart in the UK. She's sort of an adoptive British person. And she's sort of an adoptive beauty icon for us as well. So um, it's a perfect marriage of beauty and sort of pop star.